Hey everyone, welcome back to Dev Parkour. I'm Brian Parks. Uh, in today's video, I want to share uh, a kind of an epiphany that I had over the last few months. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, I was actually recently uh, promoted from uh, being a software engineer to now I'm a software engineering manager. Uh, really excited about that. I lead a great team uh, and we're doing some really, really cool things. Um, but one of the things that had always been told to me as I was kind of on my path toward uh, getting into management at multiple different companies was that th this idea that you get promoted to the job you're already doing. Uh, and to be honest, that never really made sense to me. Uh, but now it kind of does, and I'd like to share, uh, you know, what what happened, what changed uh, to, to make that make sense. So I always looked at that and thought, it would be kind of weird if the team I was on had two managers. So does that look like, uh, I'm thinking of the, the, the office episode or the, 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 the arc where uh, Michael Scott and uh, Jim Halpert are co-managers. And obviously, you know, if, if you're familiar with the office, you know how well that worked out. Um, so, but on a software team, does that mean that one person does the HR stuff and another person does the technical leadership? Or, you know, what does that actually look like? What, what, what does it mean to uh, be, you know, be a manager so that you can be promoted to the job you're already doing, even when someone else is already the manager on the team? Uh, and it turns out that's not what it means at all. Uh, I mean, maybe to some extent, uh, if there's a void and you fill the void, then you get promoted to, or you, you, the title catches up with what you're actually doing. But in a software organization, typically every team has a, a lead or a manager or something like that. And if a manager leaves, someone else gets promoted to that spot. That's, that's just how that works. Uh, but there's definitely some uh, merit to, to the statement of getting promoted to the job you're already doing as well. And that means that, yes, technical leadership, that's, that's a thing, but maybe you can find opportunities on you know, specific projects to uh, work with the sorts of people that, that your, your manager, uh, the team lead or whatever, uh, is interacting with. So you know, product management, uh, QA, uh, you know, other engineering management, that sort of thing. Uh, but the, the key is really, working within the system so working with your your current manager working with their manager uh, let them know that you have aspirations to be uh, to go into management don't just start doing managery things and, and leave people confused but make sure there's communication because a it'll help you establish you know where you're trying to do, go and, and what you're trying to do uh, with everybody else involved um, but also communication is a huge part of, of being a manager and, and going going that direction. So if you don't communicate and you know in effect demonstrate that you, you you know either didn't know you had to communicate or don't really want to communicate, uh, that says something that uh, you know people might perceive as you not quite being ready to, to go into management. So that communication piece is key. Um, now for me, my, my path looked a little bit different. Uh, my organization was actually growing and scaling to the point where uh, the kind of the one engineering manager who was, who was uh, all of the developers were his direct reports. Um, that, that organization was just growing to the extent that I think he had 15 or so direct reports. Uh, and we as an organization wanted to split that up into independent feature teams, uh, each of which had their own manager. So that meant there was an opportunity for several of us who, who were inclined to go in the management direction to, uh, to do that. Uh, and that was kind of a, a, um, a, a not delayed, but kind of a, a staggered process. So we kind of formed into feature teams and the people who had management aspirations became the leads of those teams. Uh, and then a few months later, uh, which was just a couple weeks ago, those leads got officially promoted to software engineering manager. Uh, so, I, 
you know, I'm very happy with the route that I took to get into management. I'm very uh, glad that it, it went as smoothly as it did. And, uh, you know, even though uh, I've been wanting to get into management for sev several years now, and, you know, for one reason or another, it just didn't pan out. I'm not upset that it, that it took this long. I really like the way that uh, this path happened here where I currently am. Uh, and I think it's fantastic. I'm really excited to, to continue to be the manager of, of this team and to, you know, see where it leads me and go where it leads me uh, and, and do great things for the company. So hopefully you found this video insightful. Um, if you have management aspirations of your own uh, and have questions, go ahead and leave those down uh, in the comments. Um, obviously, I'm still a relatively new manager, so I might not have answers to everything. Uh, but I'm happy to answer questions you have about getting into management uh, or, you know, even getting promoted up the ranks of, uh, you know, software engineer. Uh, because obviously I've, I've been doing software engineering for over 15 years at this point. Uh, so any questions you have about uh, career development, happy to answer them. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and be sure to subscribe uh, and click that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I uh, have new videos coming out. And definitely subscribe because I have some really exciting updates coming uh, to the channel. So stay tuned for, I think it'll be Monday's video. I'll talk more about what those are gonna be. But just a teaser, it's really exciting. I'm really excited about it. I think you all are gonna be super excited about it. Uh, stay tuned for that and make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.